seven presidents, six deaths, one curse. This is the story of a 120 year long curse conceived in grief and executed as an act of revenge. This is the story of Tecumseh's curse and the man who broke it, Ronald Reagan. In the era of Manifest Destiny, Native Americans were pushed out of their homelands and moved west to satisfy American greed. Most of the time, the Native American tribes were too disorganized and outnumbered, so any effort made to fight back often was futile. But there was one young warrior who changed all of that. Tecumseh was a Shawnee Indian, grew, uh, grew up in the late 1700s and he grew up learning very clear lessons about America. He grew up learning that America couldn't be trusted. Uh, Tecumseh's father was killed by American forces. Uh, Tecumseh's mother moved his, again, some of his family members west. And Tecumseh was basically left to be raised by an older brother. Tecumseh eventually became a prominent leader in the Shawnee tribe, spreading the teaching that the Native Americans should not trust the white man and that they should not give up their land. Though he was the primary leader of the Confederacy, his brother, who was known as the Prophet, was the religious and spiritual leader. He was known as the prophet based on having visions, visions of the great spirit. Uh, at first, not many people believed him, but then he kept having them and seeing them and talking about them. And eventually, through predicting an eclipse, when he was challenged, he became widely believed. Tecumseh died at the Battle of Thames in 1813, devastating his confederacy and demolishing his dream of a united Native American nation. The U.S. general that led the Americans into battle against Tecumseh was William Henry Harrison. When the prophet learned of his brother's demise, he cast a curse that would last for over a century. Again, in that war, Tecumseh dies, and the belief behind Tecumseh's curse is that the prophet, upon hearing about the death of the almighty Tecumseh, of his, of his brother, in grief, put a curse on, a, on William Henry Harrison, and in William Henry Harrison in that he would die when he became president. In fact, it's a bigger curse that presidents elected in a year ending in zero would die. And when you follow Tecumseh's curse, it holds from 1840 to 1980. William Henry Harrison died only 30 days into office from typhoid fever. Though his death was a tragedy, it would be the first of seven presidential deaths caused by Tecumseh's curse. Ronald Reagan was elected in 1980, making him victim number eight of Tecumseh's curse. On March 30th, 1981, it seemed as though the curse would take yet another president's life. Went to the hotel in the afternoon, gave his speech to the uh, AFL-CAO union, and as he's exiting the hotel, shots are fired, and an attempt is made on his life. There was a period of uncertainty, uh, immediately afterwards and a question mark about who was actually in charge of the country. Reagan suffered a punctured lung and internal bleeding from the gunshot wound and it seemed as though he was minutes away from death. It wasn't until they took x-rays they determined that there was a bullet lodged in his lung very close to his heart within an inch or two of his heart. And I remember as a kid seeing it on the news that for uh, day after day, the news was, was Reagan going to die? Though Reagan was minutes away from death, he would not be defeated. He would not bow down to anyone, not even a 120 year long curse. Through his pain, he found the strength to persevere and survive. Knowing that, again, he was always in the moment. And the fact that he was able to persevere, recover, come back, and that was in the earliest parts of his presidency, shows his strength, his perseverance, and his indomitable will to survive. And his survival was instrumental in the growth of America, in the destruction of the Soviet Union, and Reagan represents the best of what it is to be an American. Reagan fulfilled two terms of presidency, accomplishing great things. The question that remains is controversial to say the least. Is Tecumseh's curse real? I think it's more of a theory. Um, I am susceptible, skeptical. And if we really put ourselves in the shoes of, a native, of being Native American, suffering through manifest destiny and American expansion, I think we could all understand why they would want revenge. And when you follow the pattern, again, Harrison drops dead in 30 days from pneumonia. 
And he ran on vote for me in 1840 because I killed Tecumseh in 1813. And he drops dead in 30 days, still to this day, the shortest presidency in American history. And it holds from 1840 to 1980. I believe in Tecumseh's curse. Whether it is real or not, the fact is that seven presidents that were elected in a year ending in zero died during their presidencies. And Reagan, through his strength and perseverance, survived possibly the greatest challenge he ever faced. The answer to the question is unclear. It's up to you to decide what to believe.